Welcome to Mechflix. Welcome to Mechflix. Now, as a family project, we've been doing this little pepper garden out front, and every year we progress a little bit more spicy. We started with some bell peppers, moved into some chili peppers. Last year we did some habaneros, those were amazing. And this year, we grew some ghost peppers. A little bit nervous because I've never eaten a whole ghost pepper before. I've eaten the chips and you know varieties of foods that have the ghost pepper flavoring, but never eaten a whole one before. Got some milk just to be safe. Ranked in at 1,041,427 Scoville units. This pepper is pretty hot, but it's not the hottest. However, in 2007, the Guinness Book of World Records certified it as the hottest pepper. It has since been surpassed by many but I'd like to think it's still pretty hot. I'm on fire. Hmm. No, it's not. It's not that ill again. It's a little... It's a little spicy. A little bit. Oh, I got most of it down. All right, I'm going for the milk now. Holy, it's not going away. That's a good burn. That or I'm a wuss. I don't know. That's a good burn. starting to get better. I will mention that, uh, no, it's still burning. Starting to wear off a little bit. Maybe I can talk, no. I met my match, I met my match. I love how my wife just brings me this. Shout out to you, babe. I got most of it down here. It was a big pepper. Um, but yeah, you know, the, the biggest thing about that is it was a fun summer project that we did, you know, uh, getting the, the, our, my, our child engaged in, in growing things and uh, learning how to take care of water, weed, all those things. Um, so we had a lot of fun doing it. I had a plan for talking through this and talking about the pepper while I ate it, but that obviously didn't go so hot. Get it? Haha. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. To recap, the ghost pepper is definitely not something that should be taken lightly. Although it's not the spiciest in the world, it's got a kick.